Hey Mavericks fans, the NBA trade deadline is two days away, so I want to ask you this question. Put your GM hat on, you're Nico Harrison. Name a player the Mavericks should trade for before the deadline. Could be any player. We've seen a couple of trades go down with CJ McCollum, Sabonis, and now Halliburton, so things are heating up. But I want to know, name a player that could still get traded that you would like to see the Mavericks trade for. You're watching Mavericks Today by Chat Sports. I am your host, Harrison Graham, with some Dallas Mavericks trade targets cooked up here for you guys. Again, that trade deadline just two days away, so stay tapped in. All right, uh, how about John Collins of the Atlanta Hawks? Uh, there's been increasing trade buzz around Collins as we get closer and closer to the deadline. The Mavs, of course, have been interested in him for years now. I mean, it's gone back two, three years at this point. Uh, in John Collins, you've seen some buzz out of Atlanta that, uh, you know, this year's not going as well as last year. Maybe they could uh, trade John Collins despite just giving him that big five-year contract. He would fit really well. I mean, he could be a stretch four. He could play some five. He gives you some Chris Tapps Porzingis insurance as well. Uh, I think both those guys can fit together uh, also, so it would be very, very intriguing, especially uh, as he's improved as a shooter. And let's just add this as well. He is one of the classic Mavericks killers of the last five years. His career against Dallas, he averages more points than against any other team. I mean, look at these numbers. 24 points, 11 rebounds, 62% from the field, and he shoots 50% from three in nine games against Dallas. Get that guy to the AAC. The guy would be a superstar with Dallas. A little joking there, but the point remains is he's a really good player. He likes playing against this team. So, hey, if uh, sometimes you can't beat him, then join him. That's what I say on that front. What would you give up for John Collins in a trade? Would you give up a multiple first, 25-27? To give up one first at a player, what would you do? Obviously, you'd have to match some salary cap stuff as well. Let us know down in the comments. Go to PJ Washington now, a name that's uh, jumped into some trade buzz recently because, you know, things haven't gone incredibly well coming out of college, uh, Kentucky uh, to Charlotte. He's averaging 10 and 5 this year, 45% from the field. Classic tweener coming out of college where. You know, he's too small to be kind of a wing shooter type, but he's too big uh, to be, you know, like a three or something like that. He, he's a he's a power forward that's in a small forward's body. That's kind of uh, part of the problem. You know, he shoots he, he shoots the three okay. He's a good uh, enough defender. Uh, I think this would be a kind of fit in the mold of a trade that I would potentially expect, kind of a minor trade move for Dallas. But the question is, are you willing to give up a first? because I think that's what Charlotte would want. And I don't know if I'm giving up a first-round pick for P.J. Washington. Like, I would rather hang on to that and uh, stand pat than give up a first for Washington. Would I give up a player in a second or even multiple seconds? I'd probably do that. But a first-round pick, that's a little bit tough for my liking. Uh, Shout-out to Fanatics for sponsoring today's show. You guys can get this Mavericks hoodie on sale for a limited time only. Chatsports.com slash Mavs hoodie. We just went through an ice storm here in Dallas, and it was cold as hell outside. Uh, and uh, you guys can stay warm with this hoodie. So get one. Chatsports.com slash Mavs hoodie. Link is in the comments and in the description. Let's go to our next trade target here. Pascal Siakam, uh, a player that uh, was rumored to possibly be a target for Dallas. So we'll talk about him a little bit more on today's show. Having a really good season, by the way, for Toronto. 21.5 points, 8.5 boards, 5 assists. Uh, really good there. 48% from the field. He's been shooting the three ball better as of late as well. Uh, you see a theme with this list, right? Stretch four types, forward types, front court uh, guys, guys that can fit with Porzingis or help you if he's injured. Why? Because uh, that happens quite a bit. Uh, so a stretch four type, I think, uh, uh, would fit what uh, Dallas uh, is looking for at the NBA trade deadline because Porzingis continues to be banged up. Uh, Going to miss his 21st game of the year tonight against Detroit. Might not play until after the All-Star break. Has only played in two-thirds of games since he uh, uh, came over from New York starting in that 1920 season. Came over uh, in the year before while he was still injured, but uh, since he's been healthy, healthy initially with Dallas. He's only played in two-thirds of games. Uh, quick note here, Maxi Kleba probable for tonight, so that's nice to see. He's missed the last few games as well, but 
Yeah, I mean, we just know the deal with KP at this point. You uh, would like to have insurance there and uh, a guy that could fit with him as well because hopefully uh, he's healthy enough to go uh, come playoff time. But we'll see when he returns. We'll see if the Mavs make any moves uh, to uh, have someone fit with Chris Stepps for Zingas. Will the Mavs acquire a power forward? Type your Y for yes. Type your ins for no. Maybe. I think it's possible. I think it definitely makes some sense. Subscribe to us here at Dallas Mavericks today, youtube.com slash Mavs TV. Trade deadline two days away. We will have you guys covered if the Mavs make a trade. So don't miss any of it here on this channel. A couple more guys to talk about. Jeremy Grant next up here again, stretch four type uh, with uh, the Pistons. Can play the three as well. Uh, there's been mutual interest in the past uh, in free agency a couple of years ago uh, when he signed with Detroit. Uh, so we know that there's uh, some uh, connection there from uh, prior uh, off seasons. Uh, and, you know, Grant's one of the stronger names on the trade block. Now, Detroit's going to want a lot for Jeremy Grant, at least a first, probably two. Uh, so if you're Dallas, you know, you got to figure that out. He obviously wants a, a contract extension as well. So you got to factor all that stuff in. But if you want a 20.3 and D guy, Jeremy Grant is kind of the answer. I, I threw this trade out there before Tim Hardaway and a first for Grant. I don't know if that's still possible with Hardaway banged up. You'd maybe have to throw in an extra pick or player in there. Uh, but uh, like uh, there was mutual interest between Grant and Dallas, there was also mutual interest between Hardaway and the Pistons last offseason when the Mavs re-upped with Tom, Tim Hardaway Jr. So that could be something to consider. Uh, and, uh, you know, he'd be an instant impact guy with Detroit once he's healthy. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Obviously, teams uh, would have to have their medical staff sign off on a trade for Hardaway because he is recovering from foot surgery. Would you trade THJ for Jeremy Grant? Right now, I would, because he's hurt. Type T for trade, type P for pass. Get your votes in on this one. And we got one more player to go. Let's get to Miles Turner. I think you uh, have to at least circle back here. And now that Indiana has traded DeMontis Sabonis, I wonder what that means for Turner. Does that mean that he's more likely to stay or that he's more likely to get traded as well? Here we go again. Miles Turner and the Mavs. You guys know the drill. It's uh, You can't get through a trade deadline or an offseason without Miles Turner to the Mavs trade rumors being discussed. That's just how things go. Uh, with Dallas and the former Dallas area native. 13 points, seven boards. He leads the NBA in blocks at almost three per game as well. He would fit tremendously here. I like his game quite a bit, uh, but I, I just I don't see a major move coming. I don't think a major trade is going to come. I don't know if I would classify Turner as a major move, but it's a significant one. I don't think there's any doubt about that. So I would not necessarily expect that, but uh, you never know. It's already heating up uh, with some trades going down in the last day or so. All right, NBA trade deadline coverage on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel. Uh, you can check that out at youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Look for this thumbnail. We'll be live Thursday, 1 o'clock Eastern. And, of course, we'll have you covered here on Mavericks Today at youtube.com slash mavstv. If Dallas makes a trade, we'll break it down. We'll see you soon here on the channel.